when George Clooney speaks, people listen, or at least they look. The Hollywood actor is calling for action against multinational companies and brokers who are profiting off the violence and instability in South Sudan. Clooney and his business partner sat down with CNN's Nema Albagher in their only interview with the U.S. network to talk about their campaign to stop what they call the looting of this Central African nation. And Nema joins us live from London. So what did you learn, Nema? Well, for those of us who covered South Sudan's independence, watching it descend into the chaos and the corruption that it did was incredibly heartbreaking, but unfortunately it, it disappeared, like so many of these conflicts do, off the, the news agenda. And now George Clooney and John Prendergast, together with their group The Century, are trying to change that. They've put together this incredibly ambitious investigative report, and they let us have a little peek into it. Take a, take a look at this, Alison. Pellucid waters, far-reaching corruption, and an American, the U.S. State Department, accuses of breaking U.S. arms sanctions. All allegations in a new investigation into corruption in South Sudan. Good to see you. Fronted by one of the most famous faces in the world and his partner in activism. What we realized was we need to start, we may not be able to shame war criminals, but we can sure shame people that live 15 miles from here in a beautiful home. So part of what we wanted to do was we wanted to make it really uncomfortable for the people who were profiting off of atrocities and, and get to put on a suit and go to a nice restaurant. That was part of it. Right now, it pays to continue the conflict. It pays to continue to subvert democracy. We want to change the incentive structure from war to peace, from the absence of rule of law to transparency and good governance. The report identifies a latticework of alleged criminals and corrupt individuals, including an American from Fresno, California, Ara Delarian, who is accused of attempting to sell $43 million worth of weapons to a South Sudanese warlord. This itemized invoice, alleged by prosecutors to be from DeLorean himself, was presented during ongoing court proceedings in California. DeLorean eventually pled guilty to a federal charge of violating the Arms Export Control Act involving sales to Nigeria. CNN reached out to a representative of DeLarian, but has received no response. They also accused Chinese state petroleum company CNPC and Malaysia's Petronas of willfully polluting the environment. None of them responded to CNN's request for comment. When South Sudan first became independent in July 2011, there was an incredible amount of hope. George Clooney and John Prendergast were among the observers helping to ensure South Sudan's referendum on independence from North Sudan was free and fair. We first met eight years ago on the border of North South Sudan, before South Sudan even really existed. Why South Sudan? Why is this something that has sustained your interest and your attention for this long? Well, it gets in your blood doesn't it? I mean, um, I could say the same thing to you. You've spent an awful lot of time in those areas. Like, this isn't some African aberration that suddenly pops up and goes, well, look at Africa. Like, they're, 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 they're so corrupt. This has its roots here in Europe and in the United States. Roots, the report alleges, are nourished by corrupt investors from around the globe, <laughs> entrenching a conflict that has engulfed South Sudan for the last six years, killing hundreds of thousands and creating widespread hunger, one that they say will require a united global solution to combat. You've got to close the loophole right away. You've got to create a consequence. You've got to create accountability for those that are trying to use the financial system, because if it's not it's not just going to remain localized. Oftentimes, Western countries, people in Western society, look at African countries that are struggling and think, wow, they're corrupt and they're just uh, they're at a loss. And they don't take into consideration the fact that there are huge uh, uh, Western companies, citizens, profiting off of this. And were they not doing that, these guys would not be able to function. That's just a simple fact. Even in the midst of the horror, George Clooney and John Prendergast detail in their investigation on South Sudan, they say they remain hopeful that there is still time for the world to act. 
Queenie and Prendergast are hopeful that governments around the world are going to take this information and act on it. They told us they have already reached out to the White House about looking at expanding their sanctions regime. And, John, you know, they say they're optimistic that change will happen. Mm. Look, they've already made a big difference in forced change. I think George Clooney in the United States has really pushed this issue more than anybody and I think pressured the lawmakers to take the stands they have, Emma. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, as you point out, it's also interconnected. I mean, between the climate crisis, between widespread hunger, mm -hmm. it has a ripple effect everywhere. And whatever happens in Sudan has a ripple effect everywhere. Nema, thank you very much for bringing us your exclusive interview with him for the U.S.